Hello all, welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Engineering Surveyor. Hope you enjoyed my previous video on leveling part 2. In that video, we discuss how to use rise and fall method to find reduced levels. In this video, I am going to teach you how to find reduced levels using height of collimation method. Here we go. Hello students. Today we are going to learn the height of collimation method to find reduced levels of given points. The height of collimation method? Yay! Sir, is it easy like rise and fall method? Yes, it's very easy. If you remember the definitions and new terms you learned last time, it is just a matter of adding and subtracting values. Now tell me one by one the things you learned from the lesson on rise and fall method. The datum surface. The radius level. The benchmark. The mean sea level. The back side. The intersite. The foresight. The rise and fall method. The changing point. Wow, you remembered everything. Good, now we can directly go to the field. Yes, let's go to the field. Yes, let's go. We'll use the same example line AB which is used for the previous lesson. Now let's divide the line AB into 20 meter segments as usual. We'll see the helicopter view of line AB to have a better understanding. As you see in the helicopter view, we can divide the line AB into 20 meter segments as follows. First we'll take the backside reading to benchmark 1 which is having 10 meter height from the mean sea level. The staff reading is 2.5 meters then we can calculate the height of collimation line which passes through the telescope. We can find the height of collimation by simply adding the staff reading 2.5 meters to the benchmark height 10 meters. Let's formulate it. Height of collimation equals to reduced level at benchmark co considered point plus staff reading. The answer is 12.5 meters. Now we'll see how the recording of this reading is done in the field notebook. First you need to fill the details such as date, time, observer and recorder. Then you can record the backside reading as usual in the backside column. Next you need to write the radius level of the benchmark 1 in the radius level column. Then you should write the details of the backside in the remarks column. Your next task is to calculate the height of collimation line. For that you need to add the backside reading to the radius level of the benchmark. Then you need to write the value in the height of collimation column. Next you can observe an intermediate side to point A. The intersite reading is 1.5 meters. Now we can deduct the staff reading 1.5 meters from height of collimation to find the radius level at A. Let's formulate it. The radius level is equal to height of collimation minus staff reading is equal to 11 meters. Next you need to record the intermediate site value in the intersite column. Then to find the radius level of point A you need to deduct the intersite reading 1.5 meters from the height of collimation value 12.5 meters. Then you have to write the radius level value in radius level column. Next we will move to 20 meter point and find the radius level of the ground at 20 meters. Simply I deduct the staff reading 1.8 meters from the height of collimation 12.5 meters to obtain the radius level at 20 meters. The radius level at 20 meters is equal to 10.7 meters. Similarly, up to the changing point, you can find the radius levels by deducting staff readings from 
the height of collimation value 12.5 meters. According to the staff readings, reduced levels can easily be obtained as follows. The reduced level at 40 meters is equal to 10.3 meters. The reduced level at 60 meters is equal to 9.5 meters. Next you need to write all the intermediate side readings in the inter-side column and write the final reading obtained from the instrument station in the foresight column. Then as we did early, we need to deduct all the inter-side readings and the foresight reading from the height of collimation and put the reduced levels in the relevant column. Now let's carry on the remaining leveling work. Since we have already obtained the foresight reading, we have to change the instrument. But don't forget that you cannot change the staff at changing points until you get the backside reading to the staff from next station. After moving to the new station, you need to have backside reading to the changing point to obtain a new height of collimation. The new height of collimation is equal to reduced level at 60 meters plus staff reading is equal to 13.5 meters. Once the instrument has been changed to the new instrument station, you need to write the first reading obtained by the instrument in the backside column. Since you are taking the backside reading to the same point which the previous foresight reading was taken, you need to write it in the same row where the previous foresight reading was recorded. Next, you need to calculate the height of collimation value for the new instrument station. Therefore, you need to add the new backside reading 4 meters to the radius level at changing point 9.5 meters. The answer is 13.5 meters and it should be recorded in the height of collimation column. Then we can obtain an intermediate site as usual to 80 meter point. The reduced level at 80 meter point is 13.5 meters minus 2.5 meters. The answer is 11 meters. Next, you can have another intermediate side reading to point B and close the level line by taking the four side reading to the benchmark 2. Reduced levels at B and the benchmark 2 can be calculated as follows. Reduced level at B is equal to 12.5 meters. Reduced level at benchmark 2 is equal to 13.002 meters. Then as usual, you can record the other intersight readings and the foresight reading and finish the recording work. Next, as you did previously, you need to deduct all the recorded readings from the height of collimation and put the reduced levels in the relevant column. Sir, actual reduced level of benchmark 2 is 13 meters. But our calculations gave us 13.002 meters. That is the error of our leveling work. We will see how the error is distributed. As usual, there is an arithmetic check to check the accuracy of the leveling work. For that, we need to calculate the summation of intersight readings, summation of foresight readings, and the summation of reduced levels. This is the arithmetic check which is used for height of collimation method. Summation of intersight values plus summation of foresight values plus summation of reduced levels except the first reading is equal to summation of height of collimation multiplied by number of applications. First, let's solve the left hand side. So we can substitute the values for the left hand side of the equation and obtain the answer 90.5 meters. Before we solve the right hand side, we will see the number of applications of height of collimation values. For height of collimation 12.5 meters, there are 4 applications. For height of collimation 13.5 meters, there are 3 applications. We can solve the right hand side and take the answer 90.5 meters. Since the left hand side is equal to right hand side, our calculations are okay. 
Now we will see the error of leveling work. Actual reduced level of the benchmark 2 is 13.000 meters. But after the calculation it was 13.002 meters. The error is 0.002 meters. Therefore the correction is negative. So we need to distribute the error. Error that should be corrected is different from station to station. Therefore we need to use following equation. Correction for the considered instrument station equals to correction upon number of stations multiplied by the instrument station number. After applying to this equation, correction for the first instrument station is minus 1 mm. Correction for the second instrument station is minus 2 mm. Now we will do the corrections. We can add an additional column to do corrections. Remember when we are doing corrections, we don't add the correction to the first reduced level since it is the reference point of our leveling work. Then we can put the corrected values in the column of corrected reduced level like this. After doing all these corrections, we can draw the longitudinal section from A to B like this. Thank you for explaining all this stuff. Now we know how to do leveling using height of collimation method. Yes, you learned leveling well. In next lessons, we will learn errors associated with leveling. Till then, bye! Bye. Bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. Coming up next is leveling part 4. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of the very latest videos.